Good morning everyone. So today I decided I would try out some vlogging just because I've never done that before. Right now I'm just going to make myself some breakfast. It's kind of late, but here we are. I made some banana bread yesterday and I could just eat that, but in my messy kitchen here's a banana because the recipe said three bananas and I had four. So I think I'm gonna try to make like a banana pancake or something with this and see how that turns out. Here are some recipes I found. It's one cup of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, a clumpy, half a teaspoon ground cinnamon, one eighth teaspoon ground nutmeg. I don't have an eighth teaspoon though. I guess I can use just a tiny bit of this one fourth teaspoon thing and I'm just gonna put a tiny bit in there, I guess. Pinch of fine salt, pinch of fine sea salt. But I do not have sea salt, so I'm going to use just regular salt. And I don't know what a pinch is. Do you guys know what a pinch is? Is this a pinch? Alrighty, and it says, in another medium bowl, use a fork to combine the buttermilk, egg, melted butter, and the mashed banana. So, and I've heard that if you just add a little bit of vinegar to butter to regular milk, that kind of creates buttermilk. So I'm gonna do that. Then again, I don't think I have any vinegar left. So I guess I'll just have to use regular milk, and hopefully that won't ruin the recipe. All up. So here we go. And I think I'm just going to use this to pour it into the skillet. And here's the first pancake. I guess it's a banana cake. And usually I wait for there to be considerable amount of bubbles that have popped, the edges to turn a little bit brown, and then I flip it. It looks like it's black on the other side, actually. So... So... Maybe I'll turn the heat back down again. It's not bad, like I don't mind it being that brown, but it might have been the pan was a little bit hot, or it might just be that these cook a little bit differently than regular pancakes. A little bit faster maybe, I'm not sure. It looks really good though. So I'm not going to finish that batch. I think I'm just going to put it in the fridge and just eat these three pancakes that I made. My really crowded fridge. There we go. The pancakes look like, mmm, they look so good. I'm going to put some butter on them. It's still steamy and hot, which I love. That might actually be enough for me. That right there. Eh, I'll have three. Syrup here. Okay, Google, add syrup to the grocery list. All right, I added syrup. And bon appetit. Okay, so now I'm going to try my coffee. And as you can see, we really like our Disney mugs. Uh, but this is Mickey Mouse. We have Donald Duck and Minnie Mouse down here. So we love our Disney. Oh yeah, and then I thought this mug was cool because I was at the Dollar Tree and as you can see, there's a typo, right? It should say cappuccino, but it looks like it says capuchin. 
so I thought it was really cute so that's why I got that mug and it's one of my favorite mugs <laughs> so I'm gonna use that one I think so it's capuchin I don't drink my coffee black so yep yeah. and neither does Nathan there we go that's perfect to me. I I don't add sugar or anything. I just, ever since I went keto one time, I don't really need sugar in my coffee, but I do still need to have cream. That looks so good to me, and I can't wait to dig into it and eat it. It looks delicious, and it's still really hot and steamy. Mmm. That is really good. That is really good. Mm. You know, what's also fun about these banana pancakes is every once in a while I'll get like a little chunk of banana, which is very delicious and flavorful, but the banana's not overwhelming. I think my husband could eat this and be very satisfying and find it filling. I actually think he would like this quite a bit, so I'm glad there's some leftover batter, so maybe I'll make it some for him tomorrow, um, because I think he would really enjoy this. It tastes like a very savory, like not savory even, just warm and comforting, and I think you get that from the cinnamon and nutmeg, but the cake itself, it's not too overwhelmingly sweet or banana-y, so it's a good way to use up an old banana if you're not like super into bananas, I think you would still like it. And then if you love bananas, there's more simple recipes to follow where it's just like two ingredients. There's banana and I bet you it's banana and egg. I bet that's the two ingredient one because I saw a recipe that said two ingredient, but I thought, hmm, I want to try something a little bit more uh, involved, I guess. But if you want more of a banana flavor, I think there's more recipes out there that you can use. I can very slightly taste the nutmeg um, and cinnamon, but it just blends in really perfectly. It, like, it just tastes warm and it's a really nice breakfast meal. So definitely check that out in the description below.